On my website, I offer reads in different strengths, medium soft, medium, and medium hard. I've been asked if I color code to uh, get to those strengths or if I use different cane or different staples or a different scraping technique for each of those. Um, and I can answer all of those questions really easily. Nope. Um, when I am making reads, the strength is the very last thing that I assess, and it's fairly subjective, of course, but I do have a system, and I have some thoughts about strength, and I'm happy to share those. Um, hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the 5-Minute Read Maker, and this is how I work with read strength. I make reads a batch at a time, which you know already from my video called Batch Processing. Um, I wind 10 or 15 reads, all exactly the same. The next day I rough scrape them all, exactly the same. On the third day, I finish all of them, which is uh, an individual task, right? Because each cane, uh, each read wants something a little different from me as I'm working on finishing them. And it's only after all of those reads are finished and balanced and have rested one more night that I determine their strengths. On day four, I play all of those reads. Because they're all different uh, pieces of cane and they've been individually made, they all have individual characteristics, and I sort them at this point into reads uh, into two big heaps. The reads that feel okay for me to play right away, and the reads that, uh, although they're balanced and they're finished and they do play, they're a little harder than I would like to go out in public and play on. Um, if I have orders up for medium hard reads, those are the ones I send. And if I don't, I work on them again. To make a medium hard into a medium, I'll almost certainly scrape the sides and the corners of the tip uh, and clip a tiny bit to refine the response. I'll very likely polish the heart very lightly all the way across to lessen the resistance of the reed. And if it feels very stiff or very open, I'll work in the windows to relax that opening and to make the reed more flexible. Once I have that pile of medium reeds, I'll choose the ones that feel a little bit looser or respond a little more easily, and I'll work to turn those into medium soft reeds. Medium soft is for me the most difficult strength to achieve, because easy response and minimal resistance can be inversely related to dark sound and stability. Uh, that's a generalization, of course. But it's fairly easy to take a comfortable professional read and break it down so a child can honk and produce sound, and it's hard to make that young child sound really good doing so. I'll often cut in the rooftop a little bit more strongly. This has the effect of further separating the tip from the heart, which makes the response feel easy. The tip vibrates more easily all on its own. Then I'll sometimes work in the channels of the heart, this area between the spine and the rails, um, to lower the resistance without sacrificing pitch. If I do this to my own reads, I find myself sharp in the upper register because I've grown up blowing into those left hand notes and I can't have the reed holding itself up too strongly. But my way is not everyone's way and I want to make reads the way people want them. Certainly I'll work in the back a little bit, sometimes a lot. A reed with a large strong opening is not what a less experienced player needs. It causes biting. I'll even go into the spine sometimes, just a little bit, um, if I need to collapse that opening. And Please understand, I keep saying younger and less, inex and less experienced players, but with a full understanding that plenty of pros and plenty of advanced students play on easier or differently balanced reads than I do. Um, it may be incorrect, but I tend to assume that if I'm mailing medium hard reads, uh, the people who get them are planning and expecting to work on them a little bit, to tweak them to their own comfort. If I mail medium reads, uh, people want to have them work, but they're willing to blow. I assume as a generalization that pros and advanced students fall into these two pools of my customers. Medium soft reads, though, should play right out of the box. Sometimes I'll even wait until the fifth day to mail these just to make sure the cane is settled down and the read is going to stay stable. It's possible, sort of, to strengthen a read too, but since obviously you can't put cane back onto a read, your option is basically to alter something about the rooftop transition in this area to slow down the vibrations going into the heart. Usually what I would do is move the rooftop back about a millimeter, so I'd put the cut in here instead, um, and in so doing I would lengthen the slope. So I'm really being careful to leave some good stuff in here, leave good stuff all in this area so that there's more thickness in this region of the reed. Um, and then I would clip back substantially, near, 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 until the response is slower and the reed takes a little more effort to play. play. To sum up, uh, my reed strengths are subjective, based around what I like. Uh, as a generalization, medium hard has more cane in the transition and medium soft has the least. 
As a generalization, I work on the far outsides of the heart for a medium or a medium hard read, and more in the channels of the heart for a medium soft. As a generalization, it's easier to lighten a read than to harden it. I hope this has been helpful. This has been a five minute read maker video. You can follow these short videos here on YouTube and you can subscribe if you wish. If you have questions or comments or you want to order reads or cane, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. And I would love to hear from you. What do you want to know about reads? What do you want to know about read making? What should my next video address for you? Thanks for watching and have a great day.